Chemistry lecture number 94, common ion effect. Hydrofluoric acid is a weak acid that ionizes in water to form hydrogen ion and fluorine. If HF exists in equilibrium with uh, H plus and fluoride, what would happen if KF were added to the solution? Adding KF is the equivalent of only adding F negative. And this is because Kf is soluble in water and forms K plus and F negative. K plus doesn't react with anything. It's a spectator ion that can be ignored. According to Le Chatelier's principle, if product is added to the system, the equilibrium would shift towards the reactants to the left. And thus, adding fluoride would shift the equilibrium to the left and more HF would be made. So if you dumped in some extra fluoride, the equilibrium would shift this way more hydrogen fluoride would be made. So both HF and KF share the common ion fluoride. Uh, the addition of this common ion that causes the equilibrium to shift towards the opposite side of the equation is the common ion effect. We can calculate the concentration of product after a common ion has been added. Now for these problems, remember that the ions from group 1A, lithium ion, sodium ion, and uh, uh, potassium ion are soluble in water and can be ignored as spectator ions. We also assume that all the common ion that has been added is dissolved in solution and that the acid dissociates after the common ion has been added. What is the hydrogen ion concentration in a solution that is 0.2 molar HF and 0.1 molar KF? And the value of Ka is given. All right, well, we start out by saying that uh, the K in KF can be ignored. And we assume that uh, 0.1 molar KF means 0.1 molar fluoride has been added. So this is the equivalent of adding 0 0.100 molar of F negative. So we ignore the K part. All right, so we're going to solve this problem like a regular uh, Ka problem, but to make sure, but we just need to make sure that the uh, 0.1 molar um, fluoride, uh, we need to include that as part of the concentration of the uh, total fluoride. So we're going to let X be equal to the amount of HF that ionizes. All right, so we start out. The dissociation reaction of HF is HF dissociates to form H plus and F negative, and then we start with 0.2 molar of HF, that's what the 0.2 means. X amount of it dissociates, the amount of HF remaining is gonna be 0.2 minus X. And then for every X amount of this that dissociates, you're gonna get X amount of H and X amount of fluoride, all right? And then, since we've added 0.1 molar of fluoride, we have to add 0.1 fluoride there. Okay, so next thing we do is rewrite the expression for the uh, acid constant. Ka is going to be products over reactants. So H and then F and then on the bottom is HF, okay, products over reactants. And then we put the numbers in. We're given that Ka is 6.61 times 10 to the negative fourth. That goes here. Concentration of H plus, X. Concentration of fluoride is going to be X plus 0.1. Concentration of HF, that's going to be 0.2 minus X. All right, and then we're going to use uh, our trick again where we say that uh, this is a very, very small number. So that must mean that X is also a small number. This can only be a small number if X is a small number. That's how the mathematics work out. So if X is a small number, that means that X plus 0.1 is virtually equal to 0.1. So we can uh, sort of eliminate this since it's such a small number and just say instead of writing x plus 0.1, we can write 0.1. Likewise, x is so small that 0.2 minus x is so small that 0.2 minus x is going to be virtually equal to 0.2. It's probably 0.199999, but something so close to 0.2 that we can basically ignore this x. So instead of writing 0.2 minus x, we just write 0.2. All right, well this is easier to solve. If you were to solve for x in this uh, equation, 
x would be equal to 1.32 times 10 to the negative third molar of H plus. So that's the concentration of H plus if you were to mix uh, 0.2 molar solution HF and uh, 0.1 molar of uh, KF. All right. <clears throat> Let's try one more just for practice. What is the H plus concentration in a solution that is 0.1 molar HN3 and 0.05 molar NaN3? And the acid constant is uh, 1.90 times 10 to the negative fifth. All right. So we're going to ignore the Na in NaNO3 and assume that 0.05 molar uh, NaNO3 means that's the same thing as 0 0.05 molar of just N3. So the sodium is the spectator ion that we can ignore. All right. These are the same thing. All right, so once again, we start off by writing the dissociation reaction. Here's the acid, H something. So HN3 dissociates into H plus and N3 negative. Um, the original amount of HN3 is 0.1. The amount of it that dissociates is X. So the amount of HN3 that's left over is going to be 0.1 minus X. All right, and then for every X amount of HN3 that dissociates, you're going to get X amount of H plus and X amount of N3. And then we have to account for the extra 0.05 molar of N3 negative. So we have to write plus 0.05 right here. All right. So the expression for the acid constant is going to be products over reactants. Here are the products on top. Reactant goes on the bottom. And we fill in the numbers. Ka is given as 1.90 times 10 to the negative fifth. All right. H plus, that's going to be x. N3, that's going to be x plus 0.05. That goes here. Concentration of HN3 is 0.1 minus x. That goes on the bottom. And then once again, we notice that 1.90 times 10 to the negative fifth is a very small number, which means that x has to be a very, very small negligible number. So since x is a negligible value, we can say that if we add x to 0.05, we virtually get 0.05. So we just rewrite this as 0.05. Right? x plus 0.05 is going to be virtually equal to 0.05. It's probably going to be 0.05000001 or something like that. Likewise, on the bottom, if we subtract x from 0.1, x is so small, it's going to be a value that's very close to 0.1. So instead of writing 0.1 minus x, we just write 0.1. Okay? This is easier to solve. Solving for x in this equation, you get x equals 3.8 times 10 to the negative 6 molar of H+. plus. All right. For a PDF transcript of this lecture, go to www.richardlouis.com. This has been chemistry lecture number 94, common ion effect.